afternoon, everybody. Welcome to round three of the Mad Dragon Six Nation series. Ireland going up against Wales today, taking a look at how these two teams are performing in the Mad Dragon series. Ireland are up into joint second after a very dominant display against Italy last week, taking that one 28 points to nil, whereas Wales find themselves down in last place on only one point. It has been a tough tournament for the Welsh boys so far, and they've come to the Aviva looking to go up against a monster Ireland team that are looking to try and save their Six Nations. How will they get on today? It is all on the line as Harry Byrne gets his kicked off and James Ryan takes that ball nice and early. Ireland get on the offensive. James Lowe trying to find room of that wing somehow manages to stay in the field of play. Robbie Henshaw fills in at scrum half as Ireland try and ship it out wide. Maybe leaving them a little bit isolated and Wales get the turnover but a forward pass coming in from Gareth Thomas spotted by the referee. Wales have got a lot of things they'll want to improve on today. One of those areas is going to be the scrummaging zone of the game. Ireland are, of course, a dominant force at this, playing at home with the crowd behind them as well. A lot of pressure going up against Wales. Let's see how they get on in the first scrum of the game as Jameson Gibson Park feeds the ball in slowly. Ireland just marching forward slowly as James Gibson Park goes on the charge. Well read, though, by Nick Tonkins in that defensive shirt. If James Gibson Park can get that out quick to James Lowe, still going, taken down on the wing by Owen Lane. Gibson Park rushing to get that ball out. We know the recycling speed of the Irish ruck, but my goodness, what a tackle coming in there by the Welsh prop to shut down this Irish attack as Robbie Henshaw thinks he sees a gap. He goes one on one through the gap and goes over for the try. The outside centre. Getting them off to a great start. We thought maybe James uh, Jordan Lama, sorry, out on this right-hand wing would have uh, taken that one and just run that one over. Look at that hit coming in <laughs> against Finley Beelham, the tight end prop there. Massive, massive shot. Great hands though by the lock to get that out to Robbie Henshaw. Realised that Josh Adams was slightly out of position and decided to cut back against the grain and sees him get over for an early try for this Ireland side as Harry Byrne steps to take the first conversion of today. The Irish kicking has been pretty on point so far in this tournament and once again slots it through. Not a lot of wind down there today. Kickers will be looking to take maximum points from this game as well. Get his back kicked off and underway. James Ryan manages to catch the loose bouncing ball. A couple of Wales players actually look a little bit offside here. Ireland have found their line very quickly as Jordan Lama thinks he sees room in that backfield. Tries to kick it over. Liam Williams is head as he has to turn back to get to the ball. Nice little show and go though by Liam Williams. Actually pushed Wales all the way back about the offload game. Coming in nice and early. They're back up to the halfway line. That's a decent run by the Welsh boys there as Ireland stretch out wide to try and cover this wing. Oh, as Owen Lane gets wrapped up in a huge hit by Jameson Gibson Park. Not got the size advantage there, but who needs it when you've got superb form in the tackle like that? Great Dominant tackle there as well. Look for a bit of interlinking play as they get it out. And Josh Adams now gets it out too. Seb Davis out on this wing. Gets pushed right towards the touchline. Does very, very well to stay in the field of play. And Wales, though, unfortunately getting a little bit of miscommunication there. And unfortunately, Josh Adams pushed out into touch. But Wales showing... They have clear intent to be the attacking team in this game, which is really nice to see. They have been missing it so far in this tournament as try scorer Robbie Henshaw gets it out a little bit wider. Harry Byrne wrapped up, just can't seem to get away from his man in this game. As James Lowe now trying to hit that gap. Wales in a little bit of desperation mode at the minute as Caelan Doris goes on the charge down the wing, gets a handoff on another player playing, of course, in the open side flanker shirt today. Mixing it up a little bit in this Irish squad with Jack Conan playing in the number eight shirt as Gibson Park wants to go quickly, bashing his way through players now. Harry Burns looking a little bit worse for wear out here. The ball bouncing off of his other players. They're going to struggle here. Can Ireland get themselves regathered? They're a little bit bunched up. They've lost that shape that we know they hold so well. As Josh Fleer this time goes on the charge and just runs through Josh Adams. Get out of my way, he says. No barrier stopping him today. Finley Beelham now on the charge. Caelan Doris once again, always a strong ball carrier. Pushes Ireland up into the 22, but Wales get the turnover, maybe pushed it a little bit too far. The kick is charged down, though, and Robbie Henshaw does collect. Ireland just want to regather a little bit of position here. They've looked a little bit out of shape 
so far in this first half. We know how good they can be off the back of the ruck, especially when they've got quick ball. It is going a little bit slowly, though, and Wales are doing well to push them back as Andrew Porter gets quick hands out to Tyburn, out to Caelan Doris, once again pushing towards this line. And uh, all the referees actually said there is a hands in the ruck before Caelan Doris touched the, uh, the touch line there. I thought maybe that was going to be a Welsh line out. So Ireland have the advantage here to try and put Wales under a bit of pressure. The wind beginning to pick up now. Gibson Park is going to slot this one into the corner because Harry Byrne is looking a little bit rocked at the minute. I'm not sure he's picked up an injury. He's playing on for the meantime. But Gibson Park being the player to take over that kick to put it in the corner. And it's still a good kick. Got them to that five meter channel but Wales defend in the line out it hasn't been one of their strongest areas but what a solid defensive line out by Wales but the driving mall actually inching closer to the Wales try line they're going to have to have a very very clean exit from here let's see what they do they go for the pass out wide they think they've actually seen room further out maybe not the correct call maybe they're just going to go for one phase and then go for the box kick but it's not going to find touch and now James Lowe potentially on the counter attack thinks he sees room down this wing can he punish Wales for this mistake well tackled though by Owen Lane to put James Lowe into touch and maybe an opportunity gone begging here in this first half as Wales go for the quick line out and have looked okay in the set piece today. Ireland caught a little bit napping so far and again, a little bit bunched up in this defensive line here. Wales will want to try and spread this wide if they can. Got the offload or maybe have one offload too many that time. What can Ireland do then? They have an opportunity now to try and get another try in this first half as Bundyaki gets it out to Jordan Lama wrapped up in the tackle as Gibson Park wants to go quickly gets it out to Andrew Porter to Caelan Doris who's finding himself out on the wing more often than not and head just put into touch like we saw on the other side of the field and Ireland only going at half time 7-0 in the lead Well, we knew this was going to be an interesting fixture today. Third place Ireland going up against last place Wales. And you have to say, Ireland came in with all the advantage from this one off of a huge win against Italy last week. Wales licking their wounds a little bit coming into this one. But you have to say, Wales have put in a really solid performance so far. Ireland got off to the better start, though the attack play from Ireland has looked good in the opening 20 minutes of this game. They've been looking to ship that ball out wide. They've been looking to try and punish that set piece. And it all led to Robbie Hay Henshaw getting over for the opening try of the game. Wales defence narrowing up. Ireland spreading that ball out wide. Robbie Henshaw realising that the defensive line wasn't really in shape. Cut back against the grain. Hit the gap and managed to get over for his try. Harry Byrne converting that one over the post. But Harry Byrne has looked to have picked up a bit of an injury. And you have to say it has slowed down the Ireland speed of the game towards the end of this first half. And Wales have absolutely taken the advantage. Maybe an opportunity squandered down in this corner where Wales his defensive lineup held out very very strong and managed to get a clean exit away Wales have looked to go on the aggression as well a lot of offloading in this game they are looking to try and avoid that breakdown where they know Ireland are so good at getting those jackal penalties in Wales are looking to be the attacking team in this one and you have to say so far the defense has held up well including some big dominant tackles but points on the board is the key thing that Wales need and we'll have to see how they get on in the second half On to the second half then as we get kicked off and underway. Now we're hearing about the injury news down on the touchline. Harry Byrne has come off. However, Ireland did not turn up today with a designated secondary fly half. So Craig Casey has come on to play at scrum half and James Gibson Park is actually going to move out to the fly half position to try and fill in and keep that Ireland attack speed up as we got to see in the opening 20 minutes of this game as Wales compete fiercely at the breakdown there. Maybe sent that Ireland aren't at full strength anymore. Let's see what they can do as Caelan Doris this time finds himself in the midfield. He's been in the wings all day, but right there, popping up in a bit of room. Wales not marking him up. Managing to move towards that 22. Oh, but there is a call from the referee here. We'll go back and have a look at this. This might have been an Irish hand actually knocking that out. James Ryan, I think, getting penalised there. They've gone for the scrum. They feel like they can take the advantage in the set piece today. Let's see how the Wales scrum gets on because Ireland look to be doing pretty well in that first half. Let's see how they get on. Bind. And we'll get ready for the set here as Thomas Williams places the ball into the scrum. How will they get on? Wales get 
The early shove, and actually are beginning to drive Ireland back here. They'll just want to find their shape. Wales go for the early kick, and it might have been a great call. Can they get the 50-22 from there? And do Jordan Lama not picking that one up. A bit of miscommunication between him and Hugo Keenan. And Wales are coming out of the block strong for this second half. They want to try and punish Ireland. They know without that designated starting fly half, maybe there's the opportunity to get on the board here as the Wales driving mall begins to push on. They try and ship it out wide as Robbie Henshaw sprinting out of the line to try and make a recovery there to get that tackle in. Oh, maybe there's a bit of a overlap they don't manage to exploit it and George North getting wrapped up they ship it out then onto the wing as James Lowe goes in for the big hit oh and Owen Lane is still going they move up towards the five meter channel Wales trying to punish they've got numbers out to this left hand side if they could ship it out wide they're still going what a fantastic run though. I think that was James Ryan getting off his line in order to try and shut this one down as they go out to Josh Adams. Tries to go on a little spin. A little offload game, though. Coming in, Thomas Williams. Oh, just getting a foot in touch there. Bit of a shame. Thought maybe Wales were building up to a bit of a solid attack there as we go for the line -out. Let's see how Wales' defensive line-out can go this time. They managed to hold on as Ireland just needs to try and play out of trouble. James Gibson Park, though, getting wrapped up. No one really supporting him. Thought they were going to go for the easy exit. They don't. Wales back on the offensive with a bit of room again a great run by Henshaw to be able to get there James Lowe got to defend hard oh as Owen Lane gets the step on the inside of him can Ireland punish that ruck they don't manage it oh Thomas Williams might have been a bad call there to go himself unfortunately not paying off and suddenly James Lowe is away and sees room in that backfield charged down by Liam Williams oh my goodness maybe just maybe James Lowe could have got away there the referee's actually given that one uh, as a, an Irish uh, infringement coming in here. I think that actually came off of Liam Williams's head. I don't think there was anything wrong with that. I think that's been a bit of a harsh call. And Ireland might feel a little bit left off by that one. So let's see what Ireland can do from a bit of a fortunate position coming their way as we go in for another Irish scrum. The last scrum not really going their way. We'll have to see how they hold up. They want to get it out quickly. And Craig Casey decides to mix it up a little bit. Goes for a kick, but the wind taking the ball. Who's going to get on the end of it? It is Josh Adams who eventually picks it up. Ireland once again on the back foot here. What can they do as Wales trying to get through? That defensive line, they're slowly being pushed backwards. Oh, George North, though, a little bit isolated out here. And Ireland rush that breakdown, as we know they like to do. Craig Casey gets tackled on the early pickup now. If they can go out to the left. Oh, Thomas Williams might have gone the wrong way there. They're trying to play this offload game once again. It is making a few waves in this Irish defence, to be fair. How good the offload game has been today. Oh, is Owen Lane getting around the outside of James Lowe this time. They move up into the Irish half. Ten minutes left of this game. It's been much lower scoring this one than I expected it to be. And Wales have actually looked to be very, very aggressive. Coming out of the second half. Oh, is there's a massive breakaway here. Can Wales finish it off? They don't manage it. Ireland managed to survive something that was going very, very wrong for a second. It was Jack Conan. Tries to work with Josh van der Fleer. Oh, that's superb work by the back row. Is linking up together. Lovely interchange of play there. As Craig Casey thinks he sees Rune. Tries to outrun Josh Adams. Unfortunately, got a bit too much pace for him. Ireland now with a bit of broken play. Maybe this is what they've been looking for in this second half. Trying to find gaps in that Wales defensive line. James Ryan has to pick up a bit of a loose pass as they go out to James Lowe. Owen Lane chasing him down now. What can they do from this position? The game has all calmed down a little bit. Robbie Henshaw decides to go for a little chip over the top. Try and work something else out to get around that defensive line. James Ryan picking up the ball this time. They go back towards the left. They've actually got numbers if they can get it out wide. Oh, Jack Conan couldn't get the silky hands that we got to see before when he linked up with Josh van der Fleer as James Lowe makes a few more metres up on this wing. Ireland just want to try and move their attack a little bit wider. They're getting caught out in this narrow play here by Wales. Great dominant tackle coming in there by Gareth Thomas. Now, can Ireland take advantage of this left-hand wing as James Lowe runs onto the ball at speed, supported by Conan. Can Ireland hold onto the ball? They do. They try and go off to the right. An offload there to Porter. Again, once again supported. Ireland are trying to find room. Oh, there's a bit of a loose pass coming in from Tyburn. Maybe it didn't need to be made. <laughs> George North trying to find room. Can he make it back down there? Ireland are back somehow in their own half. They have not been able to make headway since about the 20th minute in this game. Wales doing so much better than we have seen in this tournament so far. 
Ireland once again looking a little bit bunched here. Where are all their players? They'll want to organise this defence. They've still got some tough games coming up over this tournament. They'll want to sort this one out. They do manage to get the turnover once again. Jameson Gibson Park says, let's get that one off the park. Very, very low scoring game. Not what we were expecting today. Ireland will take another win. That's what they really need to keep themselves in contention for this Six Nations. It's another loss going to Wales, but you have to say the performance from Wales. So, so much better today. Coming away with a losing bonus point will be a big bonus for them in terms of their overall tournament. And Ireland only taking this one seven points to nil, courtesy of Robbie Henshaw getting over for that early try. I hope you've all enjoyed this one today, guys. Do you think this could be a realistic score? We'll see in the actual game on the weekend, or do you think Wales could see a little bit of an upset coming against Ireland at home? Let me know down in the comment section, guys, who gets your man of the match as well. Always fun to have a read through. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.